You may have heard the saying, the fortunes are in the follow-up. Now there's a brand new system that is great to help you cold call, text message, drop voicemails, and so much more, all automated. You don't have to remember anything, just set it and forget it. All you have to do is speak to people. Check it out, WokeReply.com. It's a multi-touch marketing campaign where you can schedule to send text, voicemail, email, and even live calls all on autopilot. Check it out today, WokeReply.com. That's WokeReply.com. This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with another real estate video. Today's video is being brought to you by WokeReply.com, your one-stop shop for all of your marketing needs. Whether you're talking about cold calling, text messaging, sending emails, all of that stuff is all encompassed in one program with a CRM at WokeReply.com. Check it out, WokeReply.com. So today's video, we'll be going over a rent-to-own prospect. Um, so we do have some leads generated um, from people looking to find a rent to own home. And so I do not take these calls directly. What I do is I send them straight to a voicemail. They leave a message. Um, and then I send them a text message, basically letting them know that you can take a look at our website, look over to our properties, and they'll look over our FAQs, our frequently asked questions. And then if they have any questions to let me know. So I did that with this particular person. And they said to, uh, they are actually interested and they do have questions. What I'm going to do now is call them back and see if we can answer her questions. And I'm going to give her the spill on how we actually screen tenant buyers. So give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it a share if you care. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Three. Hmm. So that's the only catch, catching them again. So I'll give her a few minutes and then I'll try to call her back. So like, like I say, they, uh, they're interested in a rent to own home. I'm going to call her up and answer her questions and screen her. The goal of this call is very important to figure out how much they can come up with to put towards a down payment. How much are you able to raise to put towards a down payment? That's the question of the day. Now, they're going to dodge and swiggle and niggle and do all of that, but we're going to find out if we can make it happen. Let's try again. Hello? Hey, yeah, this is Chris. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Chris? Good. I got your message that you were interested in uh, our rent-to-own homes. I would just give yes, you a sir. call back so I can let you know how our program works. Okay. So as you know, it's a rent to own program. A down payment okay. is required to move into any of our homes. Now, 100% okay. of that would go towards the purchase price in the event that you were to buy the house. Um, what you do is uh, make the monthly payment for a limited time, but eventually you would need to either qualify for a loan from the bank or get some type okay. of private financing because what we do is a lease option. So buying it is optional, but the down payment is required. About how much are you okay. able to come up with to put towards a down payment? Um, Right now, like I said, I'm just kind of looking in it, into it right now and then like, you know, it's tax season. So, I mean, it just all depends, I guess, what on the property. Yeah, so that's why we just try to get that out of the way early. So if you could tell me what you think you can come up with, as far as that, I can send you the houses as they come up because some of them don't even make it to our website. They go straight to people. So what do you think you can come oh. up with? Um, I want to say, I don't, I don't know. I, I want to say about, what, 5000 About 5000 Okay. Did about you five see? Or six. But I mean, I might can come up with more. Yeah. Yeah, probably like in New City. We get them all over St. Louis, so they come and go all the time. And so um, I'll put you down for that. That's what area you want to be in is U-City? Kind of like U-City or Florence or something like that. 
And like, I'm, do you? What about the? Uh, I seen you like you take Section Eight because I'm like on the Section Eight program right now. Uh, we actually do not take anything with Section Eight at all. That's what they were saying. They do not take. Yeah. It. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's yeah. Fine. Yeah. I put it up oh. there at the top on purpose so it'll, you know, answer that question first. <laughs> so would you have oh, to go okay, through that I'm program? I'm actually going through a program with them where they'll help me pay my mortgage. So they'll, so that you would have to go through them to uh, do anything. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, like where they yeah, I, where I completed my like my uh housing uh program, but I gotta do like a, another uh, and then like they'll help me like my down payment and all of that, and then like I said, they help me where I pay my mortgage every month, like they'll match what I what I pay. Yeah, okay, I understand that. So yeah, if something comes up like that, I could uh, let you know. Okay, any other questions for me? Um, like I said, I'm kind of like looking, and it, it, even if I can't do it that way, where we, where you do with the section pro section A program, I would like to, you know, try to, uh, you know, do the other way where I just pay the regular rent, you know. So, uh, yeah. what I was just saying, like, I mean, it's a program where they uh help where you pay, and I think it's up to like 15 years they'll help you pay it. Oh wow, that's not bad. Yeah, I don't. A lot of people don't know about that program, but yeah. So yeah, if you go back on that website and put your name and email in, you'll be notified by email when different properties come up. Uh, or if I see okay. something specifically like you just asked for, I can uh, I can give you a call back then. Okay. Okay then. Okay. So like I said, uh, mainly like Florissant or either. And like I said, I, it could be more than five thousand, six thousand. You know, just you know, depends on. You know where's the location and what's going on. So I mean, I said I'm just calling and inquiring, on, see how you work. No problem. So yeah. Other than that, yeah. any other questions for me for today? And how long does it like you know it takes you to get you know in the property? You can be in the house in a day or two. Oh wow. Well, we don't mess around. <laughs> if you got the cash, we can close it fast. So that's why I just get that out. Cash talk, huh? That's right. So yeah, that's the number one disqualifier when when dealing with these properties. Uh, if you have little to no down payment money, then we really can't do anything. Um, outside right. of that, we can use you. So, more, I, mean, what, I mean, what would you say five, six thousand would be? Would it, is that a little? I mean, well, it would you consider that as? It depends, it depends on the house. So, I can't really say because oh. it depends on the house. Um, but typically, okay. I can give you a general rule of thumb. If you can get about 10% or more of the purchase price, we probably can get you approved. Okay. So that's just general so like rule of thumb. Seven or eight thousand. Depends on the house. So yeah, if you can, because okay. we get houses all the way up to four hundred thousand. So you know, I'm not saying you would want that. Oh, but, wow. So that's why we just like oh, to wow. weed that out from the beginning. Other than that, I'll okay. let you get back to your day. Okay. Okay. You say what I need to do? Just go back in there and put my name and email on that. Uh, at the top of that site, you can put your name and email address there. You'll be notified via email of new properties as they come up. Okay. Thank you so much for calling me back. All you right. Have a great day. You too. Bye bye. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. Uh, so typically these types of calls, I don't stay on them that long. I was only on it extra, asking more and keeping digging down in a rabbit hole simply because uh, this was recorded for quality and training purposes. So you can see uh, kind of how they dodge out. You see how when I first asked, it's like, oh, um, I don't know. Typically, they don't have any money when people start that or they don't tell you at all. People who got money usually have money and then they can even get more. So like she even mentioned that in that call that, hey, I got five or six or I'll have five or six and I could probably get more. That's a given. Whatever number they tell you, they could probably get more or they probably will get more when it comes down to that. So once we uh, find a person like her, say they come up with a down payment, they would uh, take up, they would tell us they have a down payment before we even show them the house. Because if they ain't got no money, there's no reason to look at the house. Remember that. If they ain't got no money, what you looking at the house for? Then they look at the house, they like the house, we send them through an application process, which reiterates all that same stuff, asking how much can they put down, asking what is the most they can afford for rent, because we never put out how much the rent is. So the only thing we do when we market these deals is the price only. We put out how much the purchase price is, we never say how much down, and we never say how much per month. That's all negotiable. So that's how we're able to get higher than market rents on property. So the market rent say 1100, we might be getting 14, 15, 1600 on the property. Because guess what everybody? Price is made up. Rents are made up. All of this stuff is made up when you understand creative real estate. So that's just the first part of our screening. Um, when we get a little deeper into that, we do some other things as far as screening them, background checks, things like that. Once we've uh, went through that, we send them back three offers. One, typically close to what they said they could do. 
Two, a little bit better, meaning more down, and they may be able to do a lower monthly payment. And then three, even more down and say, hey, we might send them an offer, say 5,000 down, 10,000 down or 15,000 down. And it's a rolling scale. The more they put down, the lower their monthly payments could possibly be, as well as better terms. So that's kind of how we structure it from that. We close all of the deals through a real estate attorney for quality assurance. We don't want anybody saying, you tricked me. You didn't tell me that that was a non-refundable option fee that was going toward this purchase of this house. So a non-refundable option consideration is what our paperwork says so we don't get caught up later on with some judge saying that that was a down payment and we need to get um, you know, a deposit or some type of refund. Whatever they put down goes straight in our pocket. That is not going in some type of an escrow. That's not going anywhere. That's going in a hip pocket national bank. So hopefully this video helped you out a little bit when it comes to the lease option process that just shows you the little bit of the first part screening. Let me know what you think about it. Post in the comments. Do you do something different when you're screening for a tenant buyer, a rent to own a tenant buyer? Do you do something special? Do you have some sauce that I ain't even know about? Let me know. Post in the comments. Or if you even like this video, thumbs it up. Post a comment anyway, because that triggers the algorithm and helps me move up in the YouTube space. So I will see you on the next one. Follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat, that's Twitter, that's Instagram, that's Facebook, that's YouTube, that's TikTok, that's Clubhouse, that's X, that's Fanbase, and wherever other site you want to be on, Chris Monroe STL.com is the website as well. So do what you do, be who you be, and I'll see you before you see me. Hey Chris, is that you? Damn!